Hey guys, welcome back to The Daily Departure. I'm in my bedroom right now in Chicago and I am getting ready to start packing for my trip to Guam. Um, I have an ODAN later tonight and then I'm gonna get back at about 7 a.m. in the morning and head out to Guam from there. So I wanted to share with you guys my new foldy bag that I got. Um, I made a video about my foldy bag that I got back in November of 2021 and I use it every single trip I go on. I absolutely love it. Um, they just made some upgrades to the bag, so they sent me one to try out for my trip. So I wanted to share with you guys the foldy bag before I get ready to pack. This is the foldy bag. It packs up really small um, into this compartment right here. Um, but of course, I don't need it packed up super small because I am going to be stuffing it with all my goods as my carry-on bag. Um, but this bag is really, really great, especially if you're a person who travels and lives in a city or like a smaller house or a smaller apartment where you don't have a ton of space for all your travel bags. It's really nice because when you're done with it, you can just fold it right back up um, and it stores really, really tiny. One of the features I'm super excited about with this new foldy bag is the crossbody strap. I'm so excited about this because there's sometimes where I don't carry it on my bag, like maybe if I get it out of the hotel van um, and I don't wanna go through the process of putting it over my luggage handle. Sometimes I just carry it into the hotel. So this strap is gonna be a game changer when it comes to carrying the bag. So I'll just be able to sling it over my shoulder or over my body and uh, carry all my goods. Cause sometimes I like just, accumulate so many things on my trip that all of a sudden my bag gets heavier from when I left the house to when I get to the hotel. So here's the foldy bag. Um, again, it has the awesome little strap on the back that can go over your suitcase handle. Um, and this little pocket back here is my favorite. I love to stick my house keys in here so that when I get back from a trip, I don't have to dig. They're always just right here in my back pouch. Okay, and one of the other features is they added these different zippers. They are the YKK zippers and they're a little bit more sturdy than the previous ones. So that's huge for me because sometimes I'm packing this so full on my trips. It's really nice to know that the bag is really reliable and uh, all my stuff is gonna stay zipped in. Okay, so let's start packing. Um, I have all my carry-on items out here and I'm just gonna start putting them in my bag just to show you guys some of the things that fit really well in here because look at it, it is so spacious. So first things first, we got my iPad. I always like to put my iPad in um, first, kind of set it on the side as like a nice little wall as so. And then I have my bag of chargers. Um, gotta have a bag of chargers. You never know um, what's gonna need some recharging when you're on the road um, and then they don't get all tangled up in your bag. Got my sunglasses case and then I have my little pouch with all like my medicine and my band-aids and everything. Gonna be bringing my eye mask and sticking it in the side pocket inside because we got a long travel day ahead of us. So uh, just in case I want to take a nap on the flight, um, we're gonna have this so it's easy to access. And of course my passport um, and I'm gonna be sticking that in the side pouch as well just so it's easily accessible and I can get it out when I need it um, probably won't really need it too much for this trip unless I decide to come back through Narita um, but if so it's easily accessible then I got my hand sanitizer gonna put that in the easy access bag as well um, then I have my pouch with my um, sunscreen these are like splash proof bags the brand is called aloha i discovered them when i was in hawaii a couple years ago and um, i absolutely love them so taking that up to guam then i have my drink sleeve and this is so cute it's got like passport stamps all over it so definitely like travel themed we love that for us um then i'm gonna be throwing in some extra clothes it's always good to travel with extra clothes in the off chance that you have to check your bag or if you are checking your bag um if your luggage for some reason gets lost something i'm always worried about because i fly standby so we're gonna throw that in there as well we're gonna do some pants bottom um undergarments put those in there and i'm gonna add my headphones because it is a long journey so i want to have um multiple versions of headphones just in case the battery dies and then um, obviously we'll probably be adding like a water bottle once I get one to put in here. Um, but yeah, we are all packed up. Let me show you what it looks like. And here is everything all packed up. It really fits so many things. And again, if you do need that extra space, it has this portion right here that is expandable. So it adds a couple more inches to the bottom. You really can fit so many things in this bag. As you can see, the bag is just 
such a nice sturdy material it's really soft as well i just ugh, i'm obsessed with this bag i can't even tell you guys how much i love it so definitely one of my biggest asked questions is what bag i like to bring as a flight attendant um, i've tried quite a few bags and this is definitely one of my favorites it really just fits so much and if you know a flight attendant you know that we sometimes just carry so many things with us on our trips um, so I love to take this with and even if I want to throw like a little baby pillow or a blanket it fits really well inside um, or it's really nice to slip in right here with the straps and then um, you know you can just carry it on top of your bag and secure the straps so that the pillow doesn't move but I just absolutely love this bag and I'm so excited to use it because we have a long journey ahead of us.